Hey guys, Super Paul Toa here, and um, today is September 11, 2019, and um, when it comes to the 11th of every September, we always think about um, since during 2001 when the September 11 attacks were made and how much people we lost and how depressing it is. Sometimes it's very, very hard to think of it. But um, when we think of others, it we always share our love and respect and how much we care for our loss. And I know that we've been working hard about how we can forget the past, but um, we always share support for our loved ones and how much we learn respect and we pray for them. So that way we can remember for all the times when there's been a lot of damages and a lot of deaths there. Some people think that it's people don't want to fly again and they're going to be afraid that they're going to end up like that as well. So um, and that's why um, whenever I think about the September 11th attacks, Sometimes it's very, very, very depressing on how much people went and crashed and some of them fell from the building. And, you know, there's a lot of things going on because it's almost like the biggest accident that's ever happened. And in the big, almost in the beginning of the 2000s, you know, so, um, that's why um, when we thank our, our helpers who've been helping a lot, you know, everywhere from like our fire departments and, and the police, when they helped us a lot, they really share our courage on how we help a lot and think about lost people. And when we always care a lot, uh, I mean, uh, cause you know, things do happen a lot. You know, cause when someone passed on too soon when you lost them and when they leave, you feel like that part of the family is gone. But sometimes they'll always be here for you, even though your loved one is not here anymore. But if you keep thinking about them on how much memories you have, it feels like they are here. Like, um, I lost a few family members once. I I lost my great grandmother years ago and then I lost my dog and I was a bit upset, but when I keep on thinking about them, it feels like they're by my side and they're always watching me. And then I pray for them every night, you know, because um it's quite hard. And I I think about them a lot. You know, sometimes when I get scared of an accident, of something might happen, sometimes I just pray very, very hard to make sure a miracle will come. So that way, um, maybe you could find a way on how you could survive and live. You know, very, very, very hard though um, to lose something. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I can tell, like, when the building was destroyed, it, it's almost like, uh, it could take almost millions of bucks to repair it, and how much damage it caused, you know, it's, it really breaks a lot of people's hearts, sometimes, people are worried that they're going to end up like that, that if another crash will happen but but there's no need for feeling scared because if you pray real hard or you could really he help a lot of people to make lives better I mean I'm really thankful that when I pray for our loss it makes me feel that 
I'm really on the side of Jesus on how good it, I am. But you know, it can be hard between good and bad. Just like for the good side is Jesus and God. They help us how to be thankful when we pray for our loved ones. But for the bad side, which is Satan or the devil, because Satan wants us to disobey people and that could be very bad. But for me, we should say no to Satan and yes to Jesus because um, here's a little example. I mean, um, when I was a small kid and I was playing with my big cousins, then um, when they went, when made me drop my ice cream cone, I was starting to get mad and then when Satan whispered to me he, he said to just hit her somewhere or kick but Jesus wants me to forgive because she probably sometimes it could be an accident and not on purpose so that's why I say no to Satan that I won't disobey so, um, it's almost just like you believe in yourself that you can do a lot of good stuff. I mean, I've changed a lot on what's it like to be between good and bad. Like some adults, they can't control their anger between good or bad. It's, it can be very tough. So, um... For those of you who have support for all the loss when of 9-11, we should always pray together or with our friends and family all the time. Because I'm very thankful that Jesus is always protecting us, you know. Even God, because you know, God never stopped loving us even Jesus too like um, God loves you when you're always sorry when you did something wrong huh? and God loves you when you're being, being very quiet and well behaved and of course God loves you when you're having fun so that's why God loves you all the time and he'll never ever stop loving you so, with all due respect, we always got to help a lot of people, like, um, like helping orphans and helping the homeless people by giving them clean water and good food and also maybe some spare change sometimes. Because I'm really thankful a lot for helping out for good deeds because... I'm really the world respect on helping people. So I say that we share our love and respect for all of our loved ones we lost and some other people that you might think of of that who are important to you. We'll always pray with each other. So um before I go, I think I'll close with a prayer right here. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for protecting us and keeping us safe and always keeping our bodies strong and we're always well behaved and how thankful we are. And we always respect our lost loved ones and we always care for them. And also we pray for the 9-11 attacks and also... We give our love and respect on how much we share and care. And thank you so much for being our very captain that we trust. And also, we thank the Son of God who always helped us with a lot of things on to know which is between right or wrong. So, we thank you again, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, um... That's why 
it's very important to share our love and respect because you know even though some people oh when they do bad stuff or good stuff or anything but you know things do happen it can happen by mistake I mean even though you might do something bad it doesn't make you a bad person it's probably just some breaking point or anger issue so that's why we always gotta share our love and care for respect so god bless the loved one it's from september 11 2001 and we thank for your support so thanks for watching and um amen so thank you for your support